Thanks for choosing KRTV this Tuesday. I'm Shannon New. And I'm Tim McGonigal. It was a busy day of bill signing for Governor Steve Bullock. He penned 26 bills into law during a quick moving ceremony at the state capitol. MTN's Mike Dennison tells us about several notable measures. Signing 26 bills in less than an hour is almost like an assembly line, but that didn't detract from the satisfaction and fun for bill sponsors and supporters who packed the governor's conference room to be part of the ceremony. Among the bills signed Tuesday are a pair sponsored by State Representative Shane Morjo of Missoula and others to help victims of child sexual abuse seek justice against their abusers or prevent it from happening in the first place. House Bill 640 increases the amount of time after the crime that victims of child sex molestation can sue their abusers for damages. And House Bill 173 essentially makes it illegal for teachers to have sexual relations with any student in 12th grade or lower. Supporters of both bills came to the ceremony on Tuesday. Bullock also signed a bill extending income tax credits for the cost of film production in Montana. It was joined by many members of the filmmaking community. And he signed the bill that increases funding for state parks by increasing the vehicle registration fee for parks from $6 to $9, a bill sponsored by Senator Terry Gauthier of Helena. The bill signing ceremonies for the governor are far from over. He's planning another big one on Thursday for health care related bills, including the bill continuing Montana's $700 million a year Medicaid expansion program. Reporting from Helena, Mike Dennison, MTN News. The governor also has a number of other major bills on his desk awaiting action in the coming days.